Hello and welcome, my screen name is Covert Muffin, and this is going to be a quick all-purpose tutorial to set up the Ori randomizer. Uh, so this randomizer is a modded version of the game, but it's only a couple of files, and uh, that being said, it was developed by Sigmason, and he got some help from a couple other people. So major shout-outs to them, thank you for making an awesome thing. Yes! Okay, so the first thing we need to do is track down the Discord in order to download the files. Uh, so in order to do that, all I have to do is go to speedrun.com slash ori underscore de. Great. Then along the left is the forum button. Then we're going to go to the Ori Discord server. Okay. And then here is the hyperlink to get an invite. If you don't have Discord yet, I highly suggest getting it. Uh, just go to Discord uh, or Google it and then set up a, a username and download the desktop app or just use their web browser version. That being said, I do prefer the desktop uh, version, so we'll use that. Anyways, after you click the link, it gives you the invite, then you just hit continue. Great, and boom, here we are on the desktop app. Along the left, uh, you'll notice the Ori runs, it's where you want to go, and then the Ori randomizer under text channels, okay? Then up top is the pinned messages, go ahead and click on that, and going to jump to Sigma's post for the GitHub link. Okay, then there's two links here. Uh, the bottom link's a little bit quicker, so let's go ahead and click that. Great, so now we're at Sigma's GitHub page for the randomizer. And this is where he's going to post and upload all of the patches. Uh, so it's very useful if you wanna bookmark this or just keep track of the Ori randomizer text channel where he will make posts uh, saying that he has made a patch. <laughs> uh, that being said, we're gonna use two files here. The first one's gonna be the assembly C sharp. So go ahead and download that and keep it. Drag to the desktop. And then under 1.0, we're gonna take the seeds. Uh, so the reason why there isn't any um, seeds folder for the downloads in 1.0.1 .1 is because uh, this patch was just released to make a quick fix to the assembly file. So uh, if he just reposted the seeds, it, they would just be the exact same. <laughs> so there's no point. Uh, but anyways, boom, we now have the two files we need. Yes. Okay, so the first thing to do is that we want to remove this number here at the bottom if it shows up. If it doesn't, don't worry about this step. Um, the reason is because we want the name to read assembly-csharp.dll, okay? Because this is the file that we're going to be replacing in your Ori DE folder. Next, we're going to go to the Ori DE folder itself. Uh, if you have Steam, just go to your library, then right click on the game, then go to properties, local files, and browse local files. And this will pull up the Ori DE folder. So the first thing I suggest before we talk about swapping in and out files is to just make a shortcut uh, for the Ori DE folder. So if you right click on it and copy address, then you can go here, make new shortcut, and then just copy and paste it in there. Uh, sometimes it gets weird with like quotation marks and stuff. So just make sure you um, delete it out to make sure the pathway is that. Then next and name it wherever you want, and boom, you have a desktop shortcut. The reason is because every single time you want to uh, set up a seed, you're just going to have to go back to this folder anyway. So having a nice shortcut really, really speeds up the process. Cool, so let's talk about actual installation. Uh, so the next step that we're gonna do is go to the Ori DE data folder, managed, and then boom, here's the assembly C sharp for the base game. First thing you want to do is back up this file. So Ori backup. <laughs> Ta -da! Then just drag and drop out of there and drag and drop the assembly that you downloaded from the GitHub. The reason why we need to do this is this um, allows us to actually randomize pickups uh, throughout the game and this is the brains of the operation. Uh, then the seed itself is just a file that gets read by the assembly and applied. Cool. So uh, another way you can back up uh, the file uh, is instead of just moving it to another folder is just to change the name away from assembly because the game itself will only read the assembly C sharp. So even if it says assembly C sharp with an extra text, it will not consider this file. Uh, so if you just want to keep them in the same folder, you can do that. But I like uh, to keep them in separate places for compartmentalization purposes. <laughs> cool. Okay. So that being said, um, next we're going to go back to the Ori DE folder. Okay. You'll notice there's this randomizer.dat file, right? And so that is the seed itself. And that's the format that we're going to use in the file. So next in our zip file for the seeds, um, 
go into the seeds folder and you'll notice all of these things. Um, just for reasons, we're going to pick a casual seed and throw it in there. Okay, so you're going to place the, the randomizer, whichever seed you choose, into the ORIDE folder. And then you're going to rename that to randomizer.dat. Okay, and that's it. You're all set up. <laughs> Ta-da! Cool. Uh, so that being said, the reason why I picked a casual seed is that uh, casual does not require you to do any speedrun strats or tech. Okay, so if you've never speedrun this game, do not pick a seed from any under folder. Okay, because every other folder requires you to have extensive knowledge of tech. Okay, that being said, um, you can feel free uh, to learn uh, speedrun tech by going to the link that I posted down below in the info, which is a link to Sigma Sin's All Skills No Out of Bounds, No Teleport Anywhere guide for the speedrun of Ori. Uh, it's very, very useful. He does a great job of eloquently breaking down the strats and the tech so that you understand exactly what's going on and how to do it. Cool. Okay. So uh, if you're a speedrunner and you want to know what we race with, we usually pick a seed from the extended. Uh, normal is a little bit easier than extended or it requires uh, less speedrun tech, etc., etc. Um, and then if you're a true masochist, hard, one hit KO, and zero XP are for you. <laughs> but whenever we do a race, we always kick from one of the extended. Uh, I'm not going to go into detail about these uh, subgenres right now, just because it's not very useful for this guide. Cool. So now we have a seed loaded, right? So if we jump into Ori and the Blind Forest now, um, you want to make sure that you restart your game every single time that you pick a seed. However, that seed that I just deleted was actually the same one. <laughs> so uh, I'll just go ahead and jump into this game. So whenever you jump into a, a new randomizer game, you're going to notice some stuff that is a little bit different. Okay? The first thing is that um, all text from sign and like spirit trees is removed. So you don't have to worry about ever turning off the UI. So never turn off the UI. The second thing is this first pickup is always the pickup you should go for first. Always, 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 always just get this pickup. And boom, we now have glide, right? So whenever you pick up something, it will show a text box at the top and it'll tell you exactly what you got. If you miss that, all you have to do is press Alt plus T and the text of your most recent pickup will be shown above. So all unique events, all spirit trees, all pickups that you get um, will all give you that text box. So just keep your eye out up top uh, for what you get. The last thing is a very useful command is Alt plus R, and this is going to teleport you back to the start. Okay? We use this really frequently um, whenever we do races in order to backtrack. Uh, but that being said, it's also useful if you accidentally sequence break and find yourself stuck. Cool! Anyways, I hope you enjoy using the randomizer. It's brought me many hours of fun already, and I'm very excited. Um, and if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. Or you can just simply post in the Ori Randomizer text channel in that Discord channel. Everybody's like really nice and welcoming and willing to help out. Uh, so definitely don't be afraid. Uh, but yeah, thank you so much. I hope you have a great evening.